Hello there, I'm Andrew Bermudez. I'm Senior Vice President of Leet and Associates in Irvine and a Red Blend user. Um, today, I've been asked by Red Blend to show you how uh, to use the application, which uh, I am really uh, excited about. So, Rate Blend is essentially a, uh, an effective leash rate calculator, and it's web based, so I can access it from my iPhone, from my iPad, from my laptop, from my PC, from my Mac. Um, and what I like about it is you can do monthly rent or you can do uh, rent per square foot. Since we are very rent per square foot centric in my office, we're going to do rent per square foot uh, per month. And under property address, I'm going to put one venture. We're going to do suite 220 in the city of Irvine, California. And it's going to be prepared for, it's going to be prepared for a company that doesn't exist. So I'll just do ABC Technologies. And property size, it means what the square footage is. So let's say it's about 2,000 square feet. And the rent type, I'm going to type in full service gross. Now, the rent period, that's where it gets really interesting. Under rent period one, I'm going to say in my proposal that I received from the landlord that, uh, or the proposal I'm putting together, that it's going to be a three year lease with uh, a rent schedule that starts at $2 per square foot with uh, annual increases of five cents per square foot. And there's some free rent calculated in those months. So this particular deal is going to be a three-year lease with $2 a square foot rent, nickel bumps, and I'm getting actually four months of free rent. So it'll help me to quickly calculate what the effect of rent my client's going to be paying is going to be. So we'll put 12 months, we'll put $2 a square foot, and I'll put two months of rent. So here's my effective uh, monthly rent per square foot per month right there. If I want to know what the monthly rent is, I just click over and it tells me that. So let's add the rest of the rent periods. So that's it. There we go. Now, if I'm getting any tenant improvement allowances or any movement allowances, etc., I can add those as well and able to compute that separate uh, that separate dollar amount. So let's say, for example, I got uh, five dollars a square foot in tenant improvement allowance. So I put TI allowance, and I'll put the dollar amount is going to be five thousand. Quantity is going to be one. They're only giving me five thousand dollars once. So that's my effective lease rate. And then what I can do is I can either save it, but I have to be logged in to do that. So or I can just uh, hit print. So I hit print, and then what I do is I'm going to PDF this. And I'm done. I attach that to my proposal, send it to my client, and I go hop on the phone with them, and I go over what they're exactly paying, and they're getting a great deal. On a Class A building, they're getting $1.75 a square foot with four months of free rent on a, um, a three-year lease. I hope that helps out, and I hope you guys enjoy the application as much as I am.